Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is in the waxing crescent phase under the astrological sign of Scorpio. This reading is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Aries. Holy Spirit, Angel Guys, what is the message for Aries? Hi Aries, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. We know that this could be your reading. It may not be your reading. If you are able to resonate, smash the like button for me. What is the energy for Aries today, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Oh, okay. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, Aries. Mm. Okay. I'm going to take them just like that. I see. Aries. Fi needing to feel like you get along with somebody. Um, to work things out. To be in harmony. The need to agree. Maybe there's somebody or that you want to partner with. Um, you want to try and create harmony with somebody. This is a new cycle. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is you coming into uh, a fortunate, a more fortunate situation. Your karma could be changing. This is a new cycle as the wheel turns. Opportunities appear. Uh, new opportunities, new fortunate circumstances present themselves. And I see that your relationships are changing, your opportunities are changing. And finally, it's like you're coming into something you deserve, um, something you've worked for, something you're ready for. With the Princess of Swords reverse, I just feel like you're more ready for what is happening. You've matured. You've matured with the Empress there. Um, your relationships are, are getting ready to be more sound, more productive, more insightful and useful to you. You're meeting people that can really help you. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, you you have um hmm. It's like you're ready to get back to business. You're ready for where you are. Your relationships, your situations, and you have matured making you ready. That's what I feel. You're ready. What is what is? What are these new relationships about under this new cycle that makes Aries ready for the current energy that they're feeling, Holy Spirit? Yeah, you are hanging with a more mature crowd. Um, maybe the women in your circle are reinforcing you, but... You are hanging with people who are more mature, who are more worldly, who have experienced more things in their life and therefore they come to the table with a wider perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I just, I really feel like whatever is happening in your life right now, you've earned it. You've worked hard for it. And you're seeing like the fruits of your labor now. You know, maybe it wasn't time back then, but it is now. It's like you're very much in tune with... Uh, 
what it is you want out of life. I mean, you're putting yourself around people and circumstances to achieve what you want. Your moves are very deliberate right now. Mm -hmm. It's like um, you're outwardly making big, bold moves. Yeah, you're no longer lying to yourself. You know, the Empress keeps it real, even when the that realness may involve them um, addressing some shadow work issues. They always examine the part that they played. It's like they, you know, don't blame others. And just a whole bunch of maturity is what I see. Your circles, your vision, how you think of yourself, how you value yourself. You no longer lie to yourself about certain things. You know, if you've done something shady or wrong, or hurtful, you're admitting it with the Seven of Swords reverse. You're the Emperor or the Empress, and so you do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and even when that involves you admitting that you did something wrong, you know, this is all work. This is all work, like choosing a new set of friends that empower you rather than break you down. You know, learning more about you and how you feel and how you want to be loved so that your new cycle can bring that in. You've been doing a lot of work. You're, you're much more deliberate now. <laughs> you are. I don't see opportunities passing you by unless you're not interested. Mm -hmm. You're exploring everything that passes you by. And those that don't interest you, those opportunities or people that present themselves as don't interest you, you have no problem walking away. It's like you don't give them the opportunity to hurt you. You're, you're mature now, so you have foresight. Yeah, I see a lot of foresight. What else is going on with Aries? Mm -hmm. Very mature. Okay, all these cards are falling on the floor. What else is going on with Barry's Holy Spirit? Tell me about these relationships, these women, these uh, men that are making Aries much more productive, wiser, more mature more efficient. You're around some powerhouses and, you know, they're adding to you. And it's a welcome feeling. Some of you are married. Some of you have met somebody through these new connections. You've met somebody that shows promise. There's a possible soul connection. Some of you are married to a powerhouse, um, somebody who always makes you reach a little higher. It's somebody who doesn't settle for the status quo in you. You're around people that make you a better person. And there could be maybe a wife or a spouse or a husband. You could be married or you've met a new person that has made you think of marriage. Um, either way. But you're just blessed for the relationships coming into your life right now, Pisces. It's a new breed. And it feels good. Yeah. Hmm. Some of you have had a broken heart when it comes to love in the past, or maybe it was just difficult to find the one. But with all these new stable relationships, healthy relationships around you, you feel like your fortune is changing. Um, you're basically going from a situation of not knowing what's going on in love not meeting the right person to love you, to receiving your wish fulfillment. I mean, things are working out from a broken heart to a wish fulfillment. 
this cycle is definitely going to be more positive than the past one where love is concerned. And in terms of things going the way that you want them to go, working out in your favor, yeah, you are healthier as a person and therefore your choices and everything that you do and associate with yourself at the time is healthy. I mean, you're just in a zone right now and it's a good zone, it's a healthy zone and everybody sees it. It's good fortune. Yeah, you've learned from the past, and that's why you're very deliberate with anything you do in the future. It's like you're not skimpish. You're not in a state of, you're in a state of empowerment. You know your next move. You know who you want to make it with, and you know when you want to make it. Like I said, there's a deliberateness about you, and I think the past has made you much more deliberate in what you do now. It's like you're your perception has changed your perception of yourself has changed and and so therefore everything around you has also changed for good for good Is there anything that Aquarius needs to be made aware of? I mean, this is a pretty good reason, reason, reading in which, you know, everything is changing. Their associations, everything that's coming to them now is of good fortune. It looks like some good karma. Yeah, you, you definitely have new opportunities. Um, it could be in love, but, you know, it's going to stir your emotions, make you feel good. It is for the better. Look, no relationships again. You have the three, and they're going to be harmonious in love, in work. It's just going to put you on an emotional high. You are the emperor and the empress here. Very clear, honest, and open. Moving in a very deliberate, healthy way. Goodness is just coming to you, son of pentacles. All these opportunities. They're new, but you know, you like taking baby steps. You don't want to thrust yourself into anything. You like taking it slow right now. And that's the right way to handle it. Slow and easy. No need to rush. What else? Yeah, even though you're deliberate, you're still cautious knowing that there's always a rat, there's always something you can trip over, always something that can bring you down. You know, you're the empress. You don't operate in a vacuum no more. You don't think that, you know, deception can't touch you. You're very much aware that it can. And so you're guarded. You're guarded. Um, you're navigating very well around deception, around anybody whose intentions are different from what they're showing you. I mean, you're just the empress. So it's like you have this insight, you have this foresight of discernment. You're able to see evil before it can get to you too close. This is just a good fortunate cycle. Some good karma is coming in. And I just hear spirits saying, continue to make healthy choices. And continue to have your guard up because evil's always lurking. Always lurking. Is there anything regarding love for Aries? All these new relationships. What's this wedding ring about? Wow. So why you look so good here is because you've been loving you. You've been coming to terms with you. You've been taking the first step in love, which is self-love. 
And you know what? Your self-respect is what's making you so attractive. I mean, people see you. Yeah, they see your change. They see how self-assured you are with the Emperor Empress. They see all this goodness coming to you like you're bearing fruits from your labor. And um, it all shows that you love yourself. You took the time to fill up your own cup. And now you look so attractive. Also, Spirit is saying, you know, for the unhealthy relationships, maybe some bad karma still exists that requires your forgiveness. And it helps you heal from the past. There's always healing to be done. And Spirit is saying you have a little more healing of your past relationships to do. That's going to make way for more love in the present. Anything else for Aries, the middle of December. Yeah, the holidays are going to be fun. Uh, you know, New Year's, Christmas, New Year's, all of that is going to be a good time for you because you feel very good right now. You're experiencing good karma. You feel blissful. You're happy. Your relationships are working out. You've matured. You're at a point of loving you, and you look so attractive. You look attractive in this state. You're deliberate. Spirit is saying, don't forget to forgive those of the past. Some of you may need to also forgive yourself. But you're being cautious. You're, you're being very healthy. I just love this reading because you have it all together here. And that's a welcome feeling. You know, it's good to acknowledge the fact that you're on top for a change um you've earned it you know you you've done the work and so mm, you're just feeling good and i'm happy for you you've earned it so enjoy the bliss that you're going to be experiencing aries because you've earned it that's what I got for you. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you could resonate with. And until the next moon phase, namaste.